So this is a video um, to teach you how to do the twin treble, which is a stitch used in um, a dress design that appears in a few different places. So um, it is included in the wedding dolls design and it's what we're doing is this stitch here, the twin treble. It's also featured in the larger um, dress that's also included in the doll emporium book as well. So both for the mini and for the larger and it is an, an abbreviation called the twin treble. It's really easy but can be very wordy when you read that abbreviation for the first time. So um, what I've got here is I'm actually, I've recreated this point here where I'm coming off the dress and I've done a round of treble. So um, if you imagine it this way down, I've come off my normal shaping for my dress with my double crochets. I've done a round of trebles first and then I'm going to do a round of the twin trebles. So what you need to do is get your yarn round your hook first like you're doing a normal treble and go in under the stitch. So we're going to go into the stitch initially on this first round. We will be going into the chain spaces after that, but I'll come on to that when we get to that round. So round your hook first and in beneath the stitch. Yarn over and bring that through to the point where you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and come through the first two. So you've got two left, but then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go yarn round our hook again, go back into that same stitch yarn over so now we've got four on our hook we're going to yarn over and come through the first two which will leave us with three and then we yarn over and we come through all three so that is a twin treble but what we've got to do on the end of each one is actually do a chain and that's going to create the hole that we'll be working into on our next round right so that was all quite fast i'm going to go even slower step by step again as we go on to the next one so yarn round your hook into the stitch, yarn over and back through to the point where you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over and through the first two, but you're not finishing off your treble. At that stage where you've got your two loops on your hook, you're going round again, so you're doing your yarn over again round your hook and going back into the same stitch. Yarn over, you've got four at this point, you come through the first two, and then the final step is you yarn over again and you come through all three like that. Then a chain one to put that gap in in between your twin treble. And what it is, is, is you're kind of not quite completing your full treble before you go in and you work that second one. And so they sit together like that as a pair with a chain in between. So let's go again. So yarn around the hook into the next stitch along, yarn over and through the first two. Then while you've still got those two, you yarn over again and you go back into that stitch to work that second treble. So through the first two, and then come through all three again at the end and one chain one. So you go right the way around working these twin trebles like that. So once you get back round, all that's going to change about what we're doing is that we're now, rather than working into the stitch as we have been doing, we're actually going to work into the chain space between the two. So let me finish off this last one. So now I've been all the way around, all that's going to be different on this next round is the fact that I'm going to be working into the chain spaces between those twin trebles rather than into the stitches as we were on that last round when we were coming off the trebles. So what we're going to be doing now is yarn around the hook, so exactly the same, in through the middle of those twin trebles like that and through and through to the point where you've got your three finish off your three and then chain one. So then go on to the next one. So yarn round the hook in between the two like that. You see, you've got your two twin trebles there. So round the hook in between your two, back in again, finish off your three, and then chain one. And that is it. That's the twin treble, um, which creates that really pretty pattern um, that increases as you go down the dress. Now, the last thing to, to tell you really is it does increase at points because obviously that's how it gets bigger. And when you're increasing it, when you're increasing, you will just be doing two into the same hole. So say you've done one chain treble like that. So I've just done that one um, twin treble, should I say. I've got my chain. I'm going to go back into the same hole and do the same thing. So just like how you would be increasing with a double crochet, apart from the fact that you're doing it by doing two 
of those twin trebles into one hole. And that's how you do an increase. That's how it gets bigger. Um, so I hope that helps you with um, creating your dresses to go on both your mini dolls and your big one. Um, just to add it on to the end of the video so you've got it all in one place. As with all the dolls, all the clothes are intended to go on feet first. So once you've made your doll, what you need to always make sure you do is you put your feet in through that um, neck hole first like that. Then you push the body in, just hold on to your two, um, your two little bits at the top of your dress. You can then grab her from the other side like that, fold her hands under, pull them in. And then your princess is ready to go to the ball.